So I've been thinking about painting some birds and um, it's the middle of the winter here at the moment. Hello, cockerel. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint some interrupted indoor birds on perches. Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Diane and my passion is painting and creating nature-inspired watercolours in my studio, which are easy for you to do too. I share all my paintings with you on YouTube and on our website, dianeanton.com, you can find free downloadable sketches for all the videos to help you make the most of your painting journey. And if you'd like a little bit more, we also have channel memberships with loads of perks for you to enjoy. So welcome on board, click subscribe and turn on notifications and let's learn to paint watercolour. So I'm going to be using, this is, this is my tryout, which I've done in my 365 days book which of course everybody's now got a copy of, who wouldn't have. Um, and I've got my Kurataki colours here and I'm just going to move my coffee out of the way, put that into place and um, let's uh, kind of get started anyway. Um, I've got a Poetique wa uh, watercolour brush pen here, pink one, with which I'm going to draw the perches and I'm going to put the perches in first. This is a sheet of Canson watercolour paper, um, can send 140 pounds cold press. It's not too rough, which is nice because for this kind of thing, what I'm going to do, uh, you don't want it too rough. It's not, uh, it's not a, it's not a landscape. It's not a <clears throat> serious painting. It's just a piece of fun. So I've got this pink pen here, powder pink, and I'm going to put in some perches. I'm going to put two rows of perches in. I just need to give myself enough space for the birds to sit. Okay, so this is shamelessly stolen from, uh, what's her name? Linda, uh, look, Lorna Scobie? No. Yeah, Lorna Scobie, that's right. I'm sure she wouldn't mind because, uh, you know, inspiration is what we all need, isn't it? So we'll put these perches here. I'm not copying hers. I'm doing my own. There's no, now what was it I was reading the other day about, um, oh yeah, you can't copyright a style. You can only copyright an image. I don't know about that. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. So I'm putting these pink perches in and I'm having a bit of fun here with this water brush. This is a Poetic watercolor brush. And um, you can make uh, shading on it, in, in it, with it, if you um, just go over it a few times, you can get the darker tones for a little bit of shadow on the side of the perch. Okay, I'm going to put four there. And then below, we've got this exciting idea of two, a double perch. Oh, I keep trying to think of the name of those little finches. I can't remember the name of them. They have them in Australia. The first time I saw these little finches, I I wanted some. I can't remember where I saw them now. They're just absolutely gorgeous. What are they called, Tamsin? I keep thinking about them. And they've got this name and they're very, very beautiful. Little finches, little colorful finches. That's the kind of thing that you'd have on perches like this, isn't it? And down here. Gouldian. Gouldian finches. That's it. That's it, like the musician. You know, the pianist. What's his name? Stephen Gould? No, that's somebody else. I don't know. Hmm? Glenn. Glenn Gould, that's right. Glenn, like the mountain. My name is Bryn. Bryn. That means hill in Welsh. I do think that's so funny. Now, we've got the perches in place. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drop colour in. So I'm going to my Kurataki set 
and I'm just going to wet and mix and then um, drop paint in without any particular um, thing in mind just because you're going to sharpen it up when when you do the next step so then we need a little bit of darker stuff for the tail so we stick a long nice long tail down there and you leave it like that okay don't do too much to it try to resist the temptation and let's have a red one here let's have a red one here just plop it in any old how and then maybe we'll put gray in front of him perhaps why not just let that run it's so fun and then I wanted to put um, I wanted to put a sort of chickadee kind of thing here so that will be grey and black. They're not really chickadees. And then we'll have another, let's have a nice bright red parrot shall we, here for the sake of the camera. And some dark red underneath and he needs a tail. Stick a tail up back there. I think I ran out of space there a little bit, but never mind. And um, let's have another green one up here. Maybe, what should we put there? I really want something vibrant, so something like that, perhaps a bit of that. Tail. This one's going to need a tail as well, of course. Uh, that one's got a tail, that's got a tail. This one's got too much paint on it. So we'll just lift that up, just dry your brush off on your cloth or your paper towel and just use it like a little vacuum cleaner. That looks for all the world like a whale. Doesn't matter, we can do something about that. Okay, and one more, we're going to do a blue one. And um, maybe we'll put some yellow on the front of him, so green. Right, so that's step one. It's a bit too much there too, so we just lift that off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it with the hairdryer. So the next step is to start with some pen. I've got, um, this is a Kiritaki Fuden no Sasuke calligraphy pen I've got here, partly because my regular Kansen, um, those other ones that I normally use, what are they called? These ones, Stettler pigment liners and the other ones, which I can't even see any of at the moment, they all run out. So anyway, this is what I've got at the moment. Um, and I think it's a good idea to start off by putting some little feet on the perch and to also start putting in their beaks and their eyes because that somehow seems to make them into little birdies. And then just kind of scribble around them like that to turn them into little personalities. And if you want to, you can um, you can draw over the perch and give that a little bit more uh, shape like that if you want to. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. But and then perhaps grab 
take the white pen and put a little bit of white in their eye to give them a bit more character, something like that. Then if you want to do any embellishments, you can do, you know, like we've been doing quite a lot, some dots and some squiggles and some little white lines and all that sort of thing, uh, just to make it look a little more interesting. So you can do that. Um, let me see, this one here, he's obviously going to have what you could call a, a hooked beak and I'm going to put his eyes up here, just give him some little uh, ridiculous eyes, nice tummy and then his feet like that. He's got a lovely long tail and helps if we just sharpen up the, the perch a little bit like that. And you could paint his um, beak and find a small brush and some orange, let's say, shall we? Orange or yellow. Pop in for his beak and he looks kind of cute. And um, it's a case of deciding what to do really. I'm going to start with the tail on this one. And we'll pop a little beak in there and let's have a nice eye. And he can be looking up to the heavens and saying, oh gosh, is it going to rain again? And uh, where should we put his little legs? Um, let's have them going forward like that. There we go. And all of a sudden you've got a bird. And put some white in his eye. And this one is obviously looking this way. So I think his beak is going to go here and he's got his eyes up here. It's looking a bit grumpy. And his legs and his other foot I'm going to do hanging down like that. So that's him. Okie doke, so that's top row. Oh, don't forget to do his perch just very lightly. You don't have to make the lines all solid. Okie dokie, so then down here we've got these two little chickadee type of thingies. Give them a nice foofy tail. He's got his feet tucked under him. And he's going to need a white eye because it's all dark there. So we just put some white in there if I can make it work. That's it. So when that's dry, we'll put a little bit of black in there and some fringes there. So and perhaps some little white lines here. There we are, and this one's beak goes here. Same thing with the eye, we just pop an eye in here. And a fluffy tail, like that. And because they're a matched pair, they need the same kind of arrangement. There we go. If you've got um, young kids who are interested in doing cartoon drawings and things like that, this, is, this, is, this would be a good one to do with them because it's kind of cartoonish, isn't it? It's kind of... I say I don't know that I can call myself an artist. I'm a bit of a scribbler, really. Okay, beak on this one. Nice eye. And I can follow the lines here a little bit because I put a, um, 
a wing on this one. There we go. And he's got his feet again all nicely tucked up underneath him to keep warm. Just outline the perch a little bit. He's one that needs a little orange beak, I think. And uh, I'll just make that a little bit bigger. And he needs a white in his eye, getting towards the end now. So this is just a fun, little fun thingy to do. You could make this into um, cards, birthday cards. You don't have to do all of them. It's just a way of painting, drawing. And if you want to go around the outside, a long way from the paint, the guidelines of the paint, that's perfectly fine. Let's give him a white for his eye. There we go. And his perch pole. He's got a nice tiny weeny little beak. So there we are. And that's today's painting exercise. A little bit of very, very loose watercolor wash for the backgrounds and then sharpen it up with a little bit of pen. So there we are, hope you enjoyed that. Have a go at that if you've got five minutes to spare and uh, see what you can create. So I will let you go now. And if you liked this, give us a like and subscribe. Don't forget to become a member. New Year's resolution for 2023, become a member of Diane Anton Studio. Okay, see you soon everybody and have a lovely day. Bye now. <laughs>